So now work can, or work begins, I should say, on cars. Uh, the excuse me. The first action. Hey! First action that we're gonna do is take Shayla's car and get this thing as race ready as possible right now because we're actually gonna throw this car at the front of the track where all the fans come in tomorrow night That's so right. they know that we have a trailer race coming out. Of course, nothing wrong with a little promotion. We gotta get this thing out from the literal <laughs> mountain of dirt. Yeah. We got landslide. Now, this car, Tommy, it has quite possibly, I believe, the least amount of work that we know of. Until the mountain fell on it. Yeah. Now we gotta do some digging. Not once have we ever dug a car out of, a, of the ground. Well. We usually drive them into them, but we usually get them towed out. So we're gonna get this car out of here. Hopefully it starts up. I mean, that's probably wishful thinking, but hopefully things are looking good. Haven't talked yet about skip plates, but we'll figure it all out. We will see. I'm sinking, ladies. I'm sinking, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Look how far I've gone down. <laughs> All right. This actually might be easy enough to drive out. I mean, does it look soft enough? Oh yeah. It's like pillows. <laughs> you want to go for it? Sing that whole song. Digging up. Uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what hole. Oh yeah, yeah. holes. The movie. Yeah. But I'm not a transformer. Look at this, it looks like a lake. It's been raining here in Southern California, surprisingly. Off and on, but enough out here, I guess. I really didn't know that, that was, this was gonna be our first problem, was digging a car out of the dirt. Mm. So what better way to get things back going than with the forklift? Our old friend. Our old friend. Forklift. Luckily, we're not in necessarily a rush at this point in the year, surprisingly. We didn't have a demolition derby car to put together. So, uh, yeah, basically what we're dealing with right now is getting ready, all these cars ready for the 19th, which again is in a little over two weeks. Was that the wheel making all that noise? Yeah. It was, okay. I was afraid it was coming out from the rear end. That, uh, that's beautiful. I, like, I just remembered that the uh, tire itself is still on that. Yeah, the two. Yeah, ew. All right, well, already Tommy's starting to think we're finding exciting things. What's up? I don't know, it kind of looked like maybe the drive shaft might be bent by looking under. And let's let everyone know why the drive shaft is important. Because that powers the rear tires to let the car go from the motor and it's, the transmission. Yeah, it's basically the connection between the motor and the rear wheels. Um, that would be a problem. Now, it being bent, how would you bend a drive shaft? I assume just by running something over. Running something over or maybe a forklift or two. Or are we looking? Oh yeah, that drive shaft is messed up. Oh shit. Alright, folks, um, you can clearly see where the... That's a forklift right there. Yeah, I pinched it. Great. It's, it's collapsed. It's done, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And suddenly... Our work load <laughs> expands. Shit. Oh, boy! Not good. Well, I guess this car's not moving. Have you ever changed out a drive shaft? Yes, sir, I have. And they how? Get messy. Was it a pain in the ass? No, you just get messy. Well, folks, it gets better. And by better, I do in fact mean worse. Upon closer inspection. Would you like a necklace? Thank you. Upon closer inspection, Shayla's drive shaft is definitely bent in a way it should not be. Unfortunately, so is mine. 
my uh, double zero Lincoln it has a huge gash in the drive shaft. What does this mean? We have a lot Two more work. New drive shaft is what it means. A lot more work left to left to do. So how does this happen? Basically our cars were moved by forklifts and the nature, forklifts. Nature got of excited. the beast when you have them stored at a yeah, facility. Yeah. It comes kind of with the territory, so I mean we knew that this stuff would be moved, but we kinda I guess always lucked out up to this point and for some reason we had two drive shafts go out on this. It just means a lot more work to be done. And uh our night just got longer. Yeah it did. Yeah it did. So unfortunately hey. we don't have any jack stands. You wanna go see if someone has jack stands we can borrow? <laughs> That's a funny. <laughs> no one will need them here. Yeah. No one will need a pair of jack stands here. Oh yeah, yours is collapsed too. Mine is worse than hers. Mm -hmm. What's funny is you can totally see that a forklift pinched it. Yeah. Because it's right there, you know? And that's why they made front wheel drive cars. <laughs> because so they can move them with forklifts. Yep. That was the entire reason. So right here, if you can see. Yep. The tire's busted. I can't even reach or else I could make it feel. Right here. Yeah. That's uh, something that's supposed to turn. So with the newfound issues, uh, we're gonna kinda split up our forces here. Tommy's right now working on the right front of Shayla's car that was covered in mud, cause there's now mud, dirt, gunk, all in the brake system. So he's right now working on cleaning that out. Tommy's car, one of the big fixes that we thought we were gonna have up to this point now, changed a little bit. But uh, we have to get his radiator out. So we're gonna work on that. I'm gonna get his radiator out of this car, it'll be another step, another uh, step in the right direction at least. Uh, we have uh, quite a bit of work suddenly. So, remember all that stuff about saying how easy and nice it was going to be? <laughs> I forgot, we're on the low budgets. Alright, so with the issues we found, we've also found the best issue of all. Tommy, what don't we have? Tools! So we're not working on anything today. But we know the issues we have, so we're going to try and diagnose- ow! We're gonna try to diagnose a couple more things. A, will these cars start? That's something we don't need the drive shaft for. Will these cars start up? All we have to do is hear them make that one roar and we're good to at least know that the motors are working still on these cars. If we don't hear anything, that probably means the batteries are dead. You can hear making Katy Perry sound. Yeah, Katy Perry? Katy Perry. What does Katy Perry sound like? She sounds like she roars. Oh. Up, 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 up. This battery has some juice. How much? Cross your fingers! Nope. <laughs> I, was, I was very curious on how much juice I thought it had. Beautiful. What a day. What a good day. Did that cone do anything to you? Nope. <laughs> but I did something to it. Hey, out of it. hey. What did we just say about not having tools? We have tools again. We oh have tools. Oh my god. How do we have tools? Out these tools? Are you saying we forgot to look somewhere? We forgot to look in one car. Shayla's. 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 She's always hiding it from us. She is. What's left for today, since we do have tools, is we're gonna go and take out Tommy's radiator right now. Um, one last thing to fix. His drive shaft is okay, so we don't need to necessarily worry about that. We'll be back here most likely on Sunday, in two days, to take out my drive shaft, and hopefully, if they're open, Take care of that. Do you think they're gonna be open on Sunday? No, oh, I don't know. Give me that ratchet mother bullshit. Look at this. What did you hit? I don't know. You folks see this? Tommy. At some point, Tommy took out someone's carpeting. Which is odd because I didn't realize. They look they were asking for a handyman, so I came in and crashed the party. After thinking I needed tools for this, I'm hand undoing everything. Folks, just bear with us, it's been a long off season. Oh my god! I'll do it by one with our hands. Ready? One, two, three. 
This is what got beat up somehow. We gotta get a chain to pull out. I'm glad that I took this radiator out because of this stupid filler neck. My goodness. But I'm gonna keep the cap because we use them all the time. I forgot how much you hated this radiator. Yes, I did, sir. That's why that I... That part's nice. Yep. Nothing you have to worry about. I think... Uh, yeah, no. I think Tom and I have done this enough times that it literally has just become second nature to take these things out. I had a leak right here. Here, let's show them. I think it's by the putty. <laughs> Where did you have a leak? Right where the putty is. You can show them now. I can't finish. Right there. Look at that! You can see the putty that Tommy's referring to. Right here. Shoot. So, this radiator is a goner. Luckily, it's just one. Where are we going to go to uh, try and replenish this radiator? We're going to go to Dave's Auto. So, if you guys are looking for a radiator in Southern California, or any auto or, part, or anything actually, go to Dave's Auto. I think I cut myself. Hey, are these condoms? Hopefully. Desicare. Where did this come from? Unit pack. The first build day turned into a uh, nightmare. A nightmare. Um, here at the Low Budgets Low Irwindale Speedway. The date's April 4th. We race April 19th. Tomorrow, we will bring you along to show you what we do during a skid play race when we're not in, a, actually in a car. So, tomorrow we're going to take you along and show you what we do when we're not actually in a car. How about that? So, we'll make up for, uh, we'll still see the skid play race and whatnot, but uh, uh, maybe show you guys some highlights. So you can hear how we announce the skid play race. I'm sure you're excited for that. April 19th, that's when these cars will be running. Hopefully all three of them will be on track. We're going to find out because... Things might get a little bit too exciting for our own good. We've already lost two drive shafts and a radiator and we haven't even started the season. We're planning on coming back here on Sunday in two days to work on these cars. And when we do, we have drive, at least one drive shaft to get out of a car and we'll see from there. Uh, it's going to be exciting. 2014, we're looking forward to it. A lot of racing, Tommy. Oh boy. Three nights of destruction. Three nights of destruction. This is the only standalone trailer race is what we're preparing for. So uh, after this race, there's going to be three nights of destructions. And I'm hearing there might be a new event for these cars. Maybe. we got to find out. But we'll save that for another day. All right, folks. The low budgets were low budget. <laughs>